about, I mean, obviously it's what they do. They experiment, right? They yes. try new things. There is a menagerie of ingredients. I mean, that's a good word. It's, like that? that's yeah. good it's, word. It's, a, it's a good fire for the, for the price of the burger. It's right near six bucks. So oh, the owner, nice. I mean, it, the, the burger is six dollars and with lobster meat and then uh, Wait, the this patty, burger is only six dollars? Only six dollars. Wow. Yeah. That's a that It does not come steal. with a side, but the fries are like a dollar fifty two bucks. It's not actually But a whole even lot. so, okay. with yeah. the fries, you go to a lot of burger places, mm -hmm. like 12 to 14 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. We uh, try to go a little bit above and beyond for Indie Burger Week. Uh, it's USDA it. grade A meat. We burger our own patties and we use a tortilla press and smash them down with a tortilla press. Really? Yep. Wow. That's fine. So uh, everything's top of the line. Let's do and it, man. Boom. Start with some extra virgin olive oil yeah. in the pan. We're going cast iron today. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Only way to go. Okay. And then this is a house made seasoning pepper jack, thyme, mm -hmm. oregano, so dried house lemon zest. Seasoning. Bunch of stuff in that. And we'll literally just flip the patty off. And drop it right on with the paper on. Okay. Oh, with the paper on. With the paper on. It helps it cook quicker, gets okay. a better sear. All right. And we'll drop the bun in here. Like I'm out of my realm right See, now. It's the guy. He knows to yeah. toast the bun because I those, like the bun. Oh man, it's, those buns are, are looking good there, chef. These yes. are uh, Toronto uh, bread. It's a local company. Like the the owners at Pier 48, they're amazing people. Okay. I mean, it's oh, nice. one of the greatest places I've ever worked. They got me out here from New York. So they they have to be good people, you yeah. know. Yeah. Welcome to the Hoosier State. Thank Ooh. you, thank you. I like it so far. It's, it's fun. Nice. It's a little bit of a change. Is Pier Forty Eight the only Pier Forty Eight? <laughs> we are the only Pier okay. Forty Eight. We are family oh, owned and operated. Oh, and look how cool! Look at wow. those pictures. Oh, it's beautiful. Right. Tell me the vibe, the experience. What are we gonna feel? Because I feel like a restaurant. It's so it much is, more than just food. Exactly. Yeah. It is definitely a vibe. That is the word. Everybody wow. talks about the inside is gorgeous. It's very modern. It is beautiful. Um, it followed like this like uh, sailboat kind of vibes when you go in, like when that you sit so in your booth. Cool. It has like the bow of a sailboat. Cool. It's a really, really awesome establishment. And the best thing about it is all of the seafood yeah. comes from uh, the owner's friend's boats okay. in Nova wow. Scotia. So our seafood's uh, in depth, fresh daily. So and these are Canadian lobsters. Pretty much. They probably migrated from Maine at some point because okay. Maine don't have none right now. Yeah. But then this is an Old Bay butter. We just have staying warm right now. I mean, of wow. course. you got to dip it in the butter. Oh, my gosh. That's and we're just going to bring the temperature up real quick. Man, I'm always one of those that I say, if you're going to have a burger, Ryan, have a burger. Have a burger, man. Have Dude, a that burger, is 100%. Right? You can always have a salad. Gosh. Have a burger. I would, I would honestly never think about putting lobster onto a burger. Well, but then I started thinking about it. It's like, you could do like a, an Oscar style, like, exactly. surf and turf yeah. kind of thing. You could have just put some lobster on it and some yeah. holiday sauce, a little bit of asparagus, and call right. it a good thing. But man, I like to try and do a little bit more originality. Okay. And jalapenos and lobster and bacon, or not bacon, but uh, um, Acids, all that fired mm -hmm. together. Like it's just not something you get a whole lot of. Okay. Bacon, and especially out in the Midwest, I don't see a a whole lot of crazy, crazy burgers. A lot of the burgers out here, are basic. A little like, more. Yeah. Do you strive for that to do something oh, to I elevate love, that? Yeah, that's the one thing about like our, our restaurant. The owners, again, they they give me a lot of creativity. Nice. Like on the weekends, every single weekend, I run features. So we have our basic menu always, but I always have fresh features in every weekend. Yeah. Like that's this awesome. weekend, I'm running sea bass. Uh, we're going to run Bronzino again. Okay. Uh, I have a, we have a lot of uh, Bronzino from our, our boats. And wow. one pound Bronzino with a Berblanc on it and a green Ooh. bean almadine. Ooh. It's super, super good. I'm saying fancy it's words. I don't, I don't always know <laughs> what that really means. really fancy. I'm just going along with it, though. <laughs> to say, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That sounds amazing yeah. because it does. All right, guys. All right. What's Ooh. this? This is a pepper, batch, pepper jack cheese we make oh, in-house. Wow. It's a mix of Gruyere, white cheddar, and our own spices to make it a mm. pepper jack. So yeah, I love all things spicy. There. How's mm. your how's your spice? I, I'm palette? a big pepper jack fan. Well, like, speaking of spice, the issue I had when I was trying this burger in the beginning was you notice the middle of all the jalapenos yes, are gone. You took yep. out the seeds. Yes, the, it was too much. With the pepper jack and the jalapeno, it was just so much spice. I'm okay. like, people yep. are going to complain. Yeah. Nobody wants that. You don't right. So we got a little bit. I want to be able to eat it and enjoy it. That. You know, I don't want it yeah. to be a dare. Yeah. You want flavor heat, not temperature. Like this is like too yes, intense. Yes. Exactly. Um, exactly. So you got the toasted buns. Yep. Yep. You got the lobster and the burger. Blanc. Yep, and now we're going to pull that off oh, of there. Look at you. You, you know, said the fancy name. <laughs> Did you have that stored in the back right of your head for a while? He was, he was holding on to that one. <laughs> hoping he would All right, Chef, I'm going to move to the other side to give you some. Oh, you're good. I'm How sorry about that? that. I'm going to let you do your thing. I'm going to stay here by the food. Uh, I'm as wide as a house. So. Yeah, is this, this, is, this is peanut butter that uh, has some mix in it, so it has a little bit more uh, Ryan, give to it. I didn't know about the peanut butter. Oh, it's just it's the nutty lobster. That's where the nutty comes from. That would make 
makes sense. Then, I thought maybe you were actually putting nuts on there. No, um, no, just regular peanut butter. Then we're going to line it with uh, your regular jalapeno and then come back with our okay, house made pickle let me jalapeno. Let ask you why you do both. Wow. Is it just a flavor thing? Yes. Yeah, so in, in culinary school, one of the biggest things they drive down your throat is fats and acids, fats and acids. Okay. So oh. you get all your fats from your burger, your lobster. Oh my gosh, I almost got you. Your burger, <laughs> okay, your lobster. Right. And um, do you pull your acid from the burger? Gosh, from so the much science that goes into this, you know? Oh, I mean, yeah. it's, it's like I'm all, too. I'm pretty, uh, Okay, I know we're running out of time. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. So, no, no, you're I'm good. Let, you, let you build it. <laughs> He's right. got the burger. Boom, oh boom. He has the lobster. Are they, is this crispy fried on onions? These are crispy fried onions we just did yeah. this morning. This I didn't awesome. know if you guys would have a fryer here for me, so we're just going to hit it with that. Look at that. Your lobster meat's just starting to bubble, so now you know it is at temperature. Oh, and it's just and falling apart good. I'm all about this. Literally clean this morning. <laughs> the artist in me loves the creativity. Yes. In then hit it like this. Yeah. And literally oh, flip your topper. Delicious. Wow. And that is your wow. indie nutty burger. Yes, wow, yes, man. and yes. Way to go, Ryan. Chef. Thank nice. You, thank you. Oh my well goodness. Done. That looks gorgeous. All right, where can we find you very quickly? Because I want to come see you. You know where Banker's Life is? You walk out of Banker's Life front door, you walk into ours. We are right across the street from Pacer Stadium, there right on the corner of uh, Chesapeake and Pennsylvania.